Welcome to May's Sampler 2 from Maysoft. Hi, my name is Sam McGuire. I'm author of Audio Sampling from Focal Press, and I want to take you through some of the exciting features available in this sampler. I've used just about every sampler in existence, and I've got to tell you there's a few things about this sampler that have really stuck out and are very exciting. First of all, for a price point under $100, it has all of the features that you would expect. It works on Windows and Mac. It has group switching, which can be controlled either via a key on your keyboard, a MIDI controller, or a MIDI channel. It has disk streaming and memory mode, so it can read straight from the memory instead of the disk. It has your standard round robin features as well to make sure that when you're playing a sample that it can be triggered new samples every time. It has choke cluster which allows you to program things like hi-hats so that when you play an open hi-hat or close hi-hat they don't step on each other and it's very realistic end result. If you've been working on your projects in the EXS24 sampler you can import those as well. The last thing I want to talk about and we're going to look at this more is that it can generate audio unit and VST plugins. This means you can take the project you're working on, export an actual plugin which can then be used in any of your digital audio workstations. This is probably worth the entire price of the sampler because you can take your work and share it with others using different platforms and they don't have to purchase the sampler to be able to use the end result. In addition to that, it also has the ability to put copy protection on them as well. You can make it so that each exported plugin can be activated with a number of different serial numbers. This is very useful if you want to spread this out on the web and share with others or make them available for purchase. You can see on this diagram the main body of the sampler, which is a graphic mode. It's very easy to use, move things around, do all the things you need to, but it also has a sidebar with a lot of further information. Let's look at a couple things on there. First of all, we have this area here which talks about the different type of engine which is going to be used here. We have a 32-bit precision engine. It can be resampled at high quality, variable buffer sizes, and you can also have it different modes for reading it off the disk or reading it from memory. Next, you can see, this is one of my favorite areas where you can change the player skin. This is for when you're exporting to a plugin. So you can bring in your own graphics. You can also edit the player layout, the size, the buttons, a number of different functionality things, all in an easy to use XML format, which is very flexible and powerful. Last, you can see right above the highlighted area, the envelope settings and below it, you can see some of the trigger data but the highlighted area actually talks about the key switching functionality, which allows us to change instrument layers inside your instrument. So you can bundle quite a bit of content into a single plugin. Here's an example of a custom instrument which works inside Logic Pro. This is the latest version of Logic, and this is the plugin which I've called Ignite. It has three different main instruments in it, and these are some custom graphics which I created just for this plugin. I had to make it the right size as listed in the XML file, but then it popped right up and it just looks great. This is an instrument which I can use in Logic, in Sonar, and in any other of the programs which allow audio unit or VST plugins. Okay, this is Maze Sampler 2.